You kind of have to consider your campsite like your backyard at home. So the measures you take at home to keep bears out of your property kind of are similar to the measures you should take around your campsite. A home sweet home away from home means keeping your campsite clean and free of odors. Meg Toom, bear aware coordinator for the District of Squamish, sets up tent at a local campground to cover the do's and don'ts of car camping in bear country. Last year in Squamish we actually had uh, three bears that were destroyed due to camping issues. You're in their backyard, like you're right in wildlife habitat, and if you're not practicing good uh, camping measures, it's just an open opportunity for them to come and forage. Sure, most people know to only roll out sleeping bags rather than food in their tent, but toiletry items like hand lotion prove to be enticing as a granola bar. A lot of our toiletries smell like berries and grapefruit and all sorts of yummy things. So toothpaste, uh, hand cream, suntan lotion, citronella, all those things that have odors should stay in the trunk of your car. Campers should treat their car like a storage locker. Windows up, doors locked, the vehicle becomes a safe haven to keep smells out of sight and out of mind. It just reduces the odors. A lot of campsites are starting to get uh, bear resistant food storage lockers, so you can actually store the whole cooler inside the locker. Food preparation areas are not always a picnic. We've heard of people leaving pots of spaghetti on the picnic table at night while they've gone to bed. We've had people leaving bags of marshmallows out. Um, just simple things that, uh, you know, we really just got to think like a bear. If there's any opportunity to get food, to, to gain calories, they're going to go for it. And detractants aren't always as obvious as a left out bag of chips. So you're, you're boiling up some uh, pasta. Where are you going to put that water once the pasta's boiled? You don't want to just ditch it into the bushes because then that's got the smell of food on it. So you have to dispose of grey water in grey water grates. Any kind of cooking materials, your pots, your pans, should be cleaned pretty quickly um, and then stored away. Don't leave them lying around. Again, into the car they go before you go anywhere. Don't leave your cooler out and go for a hike. Don't leave your pots and pans if they haven't been cleaned lying on the table if you go into the toilet. Bears are opportunistic feeders. If there's an opportunity to find food, they're going to go for it. A bear's sense of smell is so strong they can detect odors up to a kilometer away, even a piece of garbage half burned in a fire pit. What you do in your campsite will affect the whole campsite, but also future people who are coming to your site. If a bear has been able to gain food at a certain area, like I said, it'll keep coming back. So practice good bear smart camping at all times. And keep the wild wild, the reason why campers love to pitch a tent. From Squamish, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV.